thoughts? Are they stuff of fantasies or reality? In Smart City, they may be about to enter public life. Now, a group of passionate techies are busy designing Furo, one of the world's first service robots. A hybrid between a smartphone and a smart machine. It's a challenge taken up by an up-and-coming Korean firm, Future Robot. Led by its chief inventor and CEO, Se Kyung Song. In the future, he predicts that the next trend after the smartphone are robots. Future Robots pilot program for Furo is about to launch in a shopping complex. Conceptualizing these robots is only the first step, but someone still has to build them. Tomorrow, factories like this may become commonplace. These engineers are in charge of assembling and checking the robots. So how many of them can this assembly line produce? In order to greet and serve demanding customers, these guys need to ensure that the hardware mimics human-like movements. Next stop, Research Center. Here the software is tested for its response and reactions. Finally, they get their uniform, and they are ready to enter the real world. If you find yourself wandering around the store looking for help, Furo will come to you and provide assistance. But how does Furo find you? Sensors located at the bottom of her skirt allow her to navigate through rooms. But can she distinguish between a customer and an object? Not only does Furo know humans from objects, she can also speak to them in their own language. Furo's ability to talk, have voice recognition, make phone calls, and provide entertainment allows her to serve many types of needs. It's a big step for the future of the service robot industry.